Hey there, take a look at that day. Oh, it was so pretty out and we decided to spend it indoors at a Goodwill. As I am getting my cart and walking through the store, I want to remind you that we are Swag Vintage AZ. And just a little background, I just started my YouTube channel. So if you are with me and following and subscribing and commenting, thank you so much. I super duper appreciate it. Today we're going to hit two thrift stores. I'm going to clean up some items and then show you some DIY projects. And a little distraction here as I take a look at that Lucite chair right by the registers and it was $17 so no thank you anyway all right back to the thrifting you can find us on Instagram uh, we post a lot of our content there as well as anything that becomes newly available and our Etsy shop and I got some feedback that they had trouble finding my shop so if you go to the channel as you're watching click my avatar and you will see in the description those two links anyway we're also at brass armadillo in phoenix we are booth p2 and we're at the cactus and i-17 location all right enough of all that let's get to the lamps this was the same site where i had my massive lamp score a couple of videos ago i liked this glass piece though i'm a little overloaded on lamps big surprise so it's got to be something really spectacular for me to pick up right now because i do have ample lamp inventory as you all witnessed now i'm into the furniture and i spied this sweet little table but again the price fourteen dollars and eighty cents a little steep and it's wobbly i mean it's so cute it was hard to leave behind and then it had a pair but same price so it would have been about 30 bucks for both of them and that's just too much so we passed on that and then i spied this beautiful credenza now i'm just looking for fun at these i mean that's a great price for that piece of furniture however it was super chewed up along the bottom there as you can see so passed on that but i look at furniture for fun i don't really flip furniture a little too much heavy lifting for me so i found this cache of roosters and i'm just kind of poking around here for fun these were so many i didn't bother to <laughs> flip them all over and see if there was one by a significant uh, ceramicist there were so many and i don't know that roosters are really like fitting my vibe so a lot of them were very like country styled here's a pretty canister that i briefly considered it looked like it was in good condition but I passed on it it's not quite our aesthetic nonetheless a pretty piece then moving into the clear glass and this ceramic piece i was very curious about it's a skull with some beautiful blue treatments and leaves and it was signed and i did look up this ceramicist and they are really well priced and they have some really interesting pieces but i left that one behind and moved along to these very damaged plates which i also passed on and i also received some feedback that my camera work is too fast so i didn't get a chance to slow down for this one but i will work on that so if i'm moving too quickly it'll get better in future videos this was a curious wood piece i have no idea what that could be for uh, it wasn't heavy it's not a bookend so odd little thing that I also left so I'm being pretty choosy here not really finding things that I love here's a studio pottery piece that was signed however it looks pretty clumsy so and they wanted five dollars and fifty cents for it so no thank you we can leave that behind moving along into some figurines and here I found my first potential piece of the trip it looks to be a resin or maybe wood covered in resin very very heavy and there was a pair of them and they are often called foo dogs though they are lions and they're supposed to be protective guardian lions and they have chinese origin so i went ahead and grabbed that one and carefully it was really kind of 
difficult to manage the camera because they were incredibly heavy. I probably just should have stopped filming and got them in the cart. Um, but I noticed right away there was a little chip on that ear and I thought we could overlook it. And I rushed to get back to this piece of stone or petrified wood that I thought was very pretty. So there were just three items right in a row there that I got excited about. Here's a nice brass piece. However, at $4.50, I left that one behind. And again, another $4 piece of just plain clear glass. So the prices were just a little too high for me today. Cute kitty, chip on the ear, left it. And here we are in the glassware. And I saw this postmodern ball stem shot glass. So I have sold several of the ball stem martini glasses and they sell really well. So I went ahead and picked that up and it is currently at our booth. Moving along, I loved these though. $1.50 each, clear glass. I have a lot of clear glass in my shop right now. This would have made a nice set. They were very sizable, but I passed on them just because I'm not quite right for my inventory at the moment. Cute little pictures, and then the classic Libby Cactus Margarita. I just sold a set of those out of the booth. And oh, hey, look, our rooster donor got rid of a whole set of mugs with roosters on them. I wonder if like the restaurant, a nearby restaurant of the Good Egg closed or something and they got rid of all their roosters. Nothing great in the coffee mugs. And then here I am in the clear glass. And of course I'm checking out some vases that might work for the little propagation station that I have going on. That one was $3.50, which I thought was kind of a lot, so I left it. And uh, there must be something in the back here. Oh, I thought it had potential, but I'm really looking for one that is kind of short and squat um, to round out my collection. I have a lot of like tall, thin ones, so. I'm moving things around as you can see oh and looky there that is a vintage piece a very classic style but again in the clear glass um, i had a green one and it was tough enough to sell the green one so we'll leave that one and then i do have a family member who collects these pineapples so i picked those up and into the art not seeing a lot here either kind of a slow day at the Goodwill and of course got to dig through the pile now this was a really pretty piece though we are kind of overrun right now with some floral original pieces this one is signed it's nicely framed though it's not it's that's more of like a 80s vintage tougher sell in our local market so left that one a little footstool not of interest to me. Nice box, but doesn't seem like the lid is in great condition. And some cracks. Of course, I have to look it over and wish that it looked and functions better than it does because I love wood things. Cute little container, but nothing super spectacular there. And then I spot I'm waiting for me to grab it because I know what's coming. Okay, there it is. So I do like chess sets and I have sold several. Typically they're in those vintage suitcases, like the faux leather suitcases with a cool stripe. And those are the ones that I've sold before. But I thought I'd give this one a try. The box is in pretty good shape. It was $7.50. And the pieces inside were rather large. And I counted them, they're all there. And I just really liked the quality of the carving on the pieces and the scale. So I decided to pick that up and then moving into the, I love this piece. It looks like two hearts, monkey pod wood, classic. 
And then I saw this and got completely distracted and I forgot to pick up the other piece. <laughs> so kind of bummed out that I left that double partitioned heart bowl behind, but this is a Lazy Susan, it spins. It didn't have a price on it, but I ended up paying $3.50 for it. So that was a good grab. I just wish I hadn't gotten distracted and forgot. And here we are, hey, check it out. I know what this is now, thanks to people who comment on my YouTube channel. That is a nut bowl, but it was missing its centerpiece where you put the tools. So I left that behind. And here I'm just inspecting a curious piece that has a P on it uh, for someone <laughs> with a P name, but I don't know anyone with that or who would like that piece of wood, so left it behind. And this was a curious piece. Looks like a nautical napkin holder for $5, no thank you. And then we move into the wire rack area and I found this brand new in the bag. It looks like a Christmas tree where you would put your Christmas cards, kind of like a elongated spiral paper clip, if you will. So I went ahead and grabbed that and I'll show you what we ended up doing with it and then found this. These sell pretty well in our booth. Just these vintage plastic pretty trays. Usually they have like an Asian design that's gold paint or gold print on it. So I went ahead and picked that up. Now, as I'm expecting, this piece had a big chip out of it. And then as I'm looking at these lions, they're really quite chipped up on both of them. They were $9.50 each, so I left them in the cart, but really had to think about those. And then here's nice pink of, nice pink of glass, piece of pink glass, but for $6.50, oof. I mean, that's how much, that's the price I would put it at in our booth, so too much. This was kind of a pretty Greek-inspired piece but I left that one as well. We have a lot of, oh, and here we are with the roosters once more. Yeah, we have a lot of decorative plates for sale in our booth right now, similar to this one that I'm showing. Um, so until we clear out a number of those, I don't think that I'll be picking any up. Okay, so here is the card shot. As you can see, I put those lines back. They were just too chipped up. And on another beautiful day, okay, that was later in the afternoon because I did not get enough stuff at the last one. So this is the second stop of the day. And these are two Goodwills that I go to most often because they're just closest to my house. I do this part-time on the side and I don't really have the chance to get a big fat thrifting day in um, so I'm typically just fitting it in between meetings or before pickup for kids at school, etc. So here we are in the lamp department. Not much happening here. Again, I'm going to be very picky about lamps from here on out. Another chess set, uh, though it is definitely contemporary and I couldn't figure out how to get into it to see any pieces. So I left that because I already have a chess set that I'm going to sell. So then this is of course my favorite shelf. This piece I found really curious, but as I turned it over, it's just from a, I think it was from Hobby Lobby. So left that, I like that mustard yellow color though. And the shape was interesting. Moving along, not seeing much, another chess board. A lot of checkerboard in my camera today into the pots and pans I don't typically look there this is a really funky little aisle that they have odds and ends for kitchenware and I found this tile and wood trivet hand carved on the wood looked a little banged up but I think I can restore it so it has a pretty tile in the middle, so I went ahead and picked that up. So these were an interesting find. I know there are collectors out there who pick up these Macayos Margarita Cups. Macayos is a local Mexican food restaurant, really well known in the Phoenix area. And if they are vintage, I think they have some value, but not my gig. And they were $4.50 each, so I left those. And here I'm just checking out a pretty platter. Oh, another Macayos margarita cup. 
and we might see more of those. Looking at this heavy hand-painted platter, once again, left that behind. And then, you know, just admiring, not going to buy it. Some very beautiful vintage stoneware. Love that orange and mustard yellow design, but I left those behind. They were $2.50 each, which is also pretty steep for dishware. These are some nice avocado green glass, but at $3.50 each, too steep for me, so I had to leave those. And then into the pitchers, and finally, I'm seeing something with potential. This is a beautiful vintage amber glass, heavy glass pitcher for $4.50. I think I can get $12 to $15 for that one in the booth, so that is worth it. And here is a full set of what I assume to be Libby margarita glasses. And then there's the classic cactus, but I left them all <laughs> at $2.50 each. Again, a little steep for glassware. Here I am looking in the vases for something special. Again, there's that same exact piece. And then I actually own this one as well. So once you start looking, it's amazing. You just learn what's out there. And so now I know what all of the like very generic floral vases look like in clear glass that no doubt come from Safeway or grocery stores. And here in the art, I was intrigued by that piece, but quickly moved on. And there is just nothing. Here I am in the Christmas aisle and I got excited because these little ceramic trees are really popular, but man, this one was banged up. There were a lot of cracks, a lot of missing lights. So I had to leave that one. And here I find a nice brass holly trivet and it was $1.49. So I said yes to that for sure. And that is in our booth. As you can see, I picked up a few clothing items. You know, it's a like slow day if I start picking up clothes. I found that poncho, it was handmade, but I ended up putting it back. Oh, and here, if you've been with me during the videos, you have seen me pick up a lot of these clear glass vases. This is just a quick shot of my little propagation area. Again, all of these cost me a dollar and I think they look really cool and I'm very much enjoying those. So we're going to move on and clean up some of the items that I picked up. We're doing a little before and after here. This one was pretty messed up and it was had some grime on the front and this is after I scrubbed it and oiled the wood. It looks really good. I'm pleased with how this turned out and I will be putting that in the booth most likely. Then we have the chessboard, which was pretty scratched up. Now I didn't do a huge restoration job on this one, but I did add some wood oil to it and you'll see me here using this Bearded Chef product that I love. It's food safe and it's very easy to apply because you can just pour it out. And I was hoping for like a super dramatic transformation and it looks a lot better, but it, it's not like the most amazing <laughs> restoration of wood that I've ever done, but it did uh, make those hues come out in just a nice warm way. Um, and it was very sad. Like I find this work to be really satisfying when you're making something that looks real shabby look better. I think it's part of the, the job that we do, right, as resellers. And so this one was very thirsty and wanted a lot of oil. So I continued to work my magic and hope for the best as I'm moving along on these checkerboards. And here we are at the end. I removed the green piece and I ended up scrubbing that off a little more. There was still just a little bit of adhesive left over. As you can see, I ripped it all out. And then those are the pieces. So I went ahead and put this one in the booth. There's still a few scuffs on it. I'm wondering, we'll see if this one sells. I don't know if that was the best choice for me. Here is that amazing Lazy Susan. It was pretty banged up before. This is one of the more satisfying ones where you just oil it up and it looks so good. And again, this Bearded Chef stuff, I can't get enough. It smells really good. It's very easy to work with. Okay, so doing a little DIY here. If you remember that tree that we did, that I picked up, 
we decided to make a, we celebrate Christmas, so we are doing a Christmas countdown tree. And so we used stencils and drew pictures on the backs of each one that are holiday inspired. You can see the Home Alone logo there. This was a really fun family project. I, it turned out really cute. At first when I was stenciling the numbers, I was like, ugh, this is a DIY disaster. But once we got going, it worked out really well. And we are already pulling off the numbers one by one to count down the days until we get to celebrate Christmas. It's also kind of a fun piece because it jiggles a lot. And I may put our Christmas cards in here as we receive them. We'll just have to see, but um, it's turned out, it turned out really, really adorable. And I think it's something I will probably treasure for a long time because it has children's drawings on the back. So there it is. And finally, here is an update at our booth. We are fully into the holiday spirit. We have those much desired vintage Santas available as well as ornaments and other holiday themed stuff. We are at the Brass Armadillo booth P2, Cactus and I-17, and that's it for this episode. Thanks so much.